Marketing Board has launched a grain swap program which will enable farmers to exchange traditional grains such as millet and sorghum for maize and vice versa. The program aims to allow farmers to focus on growing crops suitable for their regions and still have access to other grains through the Grain Marketing Board. For more on the following report. Imagine exchanging an ox with a market value of 400 United States dollars with 10 bags of maize worth around 180 United States dollars. It sounds cute, doesn't it? This is what people in Zimbabwe's arid regions such as Musarabani have been doing just to have a taste of the staple grain maize. Now with the grain swapping facility available at the grain marketing board, Muzarabani villages can keep their cattle, focus on growing traditional grains and still acquire maize if they need it. But this time, it comes at no extra cost. Zimbabwe is one of the hardest hit countries by climate change induced droughts. This has resulted in farmers shifting to drought resistant crops such as millet and sorghum. But embracing traditional grains has been a slow process. Well, that uh, maize has uh, multiple uses and um, our stock feed manufacturers, our millers have been demanding more of the maize. But however, because of the health consciousness that has been um, coming up uh, in society and uh, across the globe, uh, the demand for traditional grains is going up. Talk of finger millet, talk of white and red sorghum, talk of any other traditional grains that come through our, our depots. Authorities in Zimbabwe have started disbursing traditional grains inputs to encourage more farmers to grow such crops this season. Last season, traditional grains output was around 280,000 tons, an increase from 76,000 tons in 2019. But still nowhere near the maize harvest, which was over 1 million tons. Uh, we already have uh, distributed a lot of uh, inputs to our, our um, uh, GMB depots countrywide and we're still pushing for the delivery of more. So first and foremost, we've in ensured that there's early distribution of, of inputs that are going to our people. And then what we've done is we've now tailor-made our PIP program, our presidential input program, which is our Fumvudza and Twasa program, so that if you are in regions four and five, you are only receiving traditional grains uh, as a seed. Parts of region three will have partly maize and partly um, traditional grains and then of course your your regions one and two will have your your maize varieties authorities of the grain swapping facility will increase the output of traditional grains will this work well only time will tell sharon munjenjema for tn news